They are at the start of their journey. They think outside the box and they often come up with bright ideas. Their projects are innovative. They are a new generation of business people and their distinguishing features are creativity and enthusiasm. This is the world of startups, the program about IT developers and the industry of startups. Hello and welcome to the world of startups, a TV program about high-tech news, and I'm Sey Kakishev. In our stories, we talk about revolutionary technologies, services, gadgets, and also show how they work. Watch in this episode. Aircraft of the future, a camera that identifies the chemical compounds of different substances and wind power generators are in our review. Smart classrooms and modern methods of teaching of the new generation are actively used now. Watch a report from Almaty. Solar power in Kazakhstan. Find out about the current issues in this sphere of energy from our correspondents. Electric aircraft has gone through checkups and is in use. Boeing has developed a unique hybrid engine that saves fuel by several times more than the conventional engine. Find out more about it as well as about other innovations from our review in the news. Off we go! NASA has designed and developed passenger aircraft that will consume by 70% less fuel because of their hybrid power point. It enables to switch from the fuel mode to the electric one. Sugar Vault is one of the green airplanes. Its concept implies that while aircraft is parking, its batteries are charged from the local power station. When taking off, it will use the conventional fuel, but at high altitudes, it will switch to electricity. It is expected that the wingspan of the Sugar Vault aircraft will be twice as much as that of the conventional one. This will allow the plane to decrease the length of the taxi stage and at the same time increase the energy efficiency and compensate the battery weight. However, these planes will only appear by 2030. This is related to the current level of development of technology that does not allow to create accumulating batteries with the capacity adequate for long flights. Scientists at Tel Aviv University created a miniature camera that enables to define the chemical composition of substances when pointed to the object. Hyperspectral imaging works on the basis of the unique MEMS technologies that allow its owner not only to get the images but also it provides the owner with a list of chemical substances that are in the composition that are not seen with the naked eye. Currently, a working prototype of this camera is still at the stage of testing and will be completely ready for production by the summer this year. It is expected that high spectral imaging cameras will be used in household electronics, car manufacturing, biotechnologies and in many other spheres. Google has got down to its high-tech power kites. These flying devices are in fact wind power generators that have eight turbines, flying at the altitude of 500 meters where there are constant winds. These generators will produce 600 kilowatts per hour, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Google engineers will do checkups of their power kites near the city of Pescadera, where winds blow at the speed of up to 30 kilometers an hour with a direction of 90 degrees per second. These are harsh conditions for the testing of all wind power generators made by Google. In Almaty, we now have a smart classroom that has unique equipment. The developers of the innovation say that studying in this classroom will get more dynamic and interesting, which will result in the students doing a lot better in their studies than when studying in an ordinary classroom. Oleg Boldarev has been to this class to see how effective it is. Boldarev, come to the board. In my school days, all problems, exercises and equations were done on a blackboard with a piece of chalk. Today, instead of chalk, it is more necessary to use this kind of iPad, which enables to put up all the tasks on an interactive board. 
and this is only a small part of opportunities that the smart classroom by Samsung can offer. Not only is it a specially equipped IT room, and it is not only a scientific laboratory, this is a new digital environment where all technology is aimed at improving the efficiency of the learning process. <laughs> Studies show that using the Samsung Smart School significantly improves the outcome of learning, unlike conventional classrooms where there is no similar technology used. In the Smart Classroom for each student, there is an individual iPad, an interactive board, a laptop for the teacher and a printer. All the equipment is compatible and well connected with each other. It is all user friendly for both students and teachers. There are no limits for opportunities. I mean, the teacher and children can fantasize as much as they want. The lesson format now is up to their imagination. You can realize anything with such classroom equipment. One of the main goals of Smart School is to let students see learning opportunities gadgets may provide. Today, 16 Smart Classrooms have been installed in schools in different cities across Kazakhstan, such as Shymkent, Petropavlos, Astana and Almaty. Before this innovation, we used books, but it was quite boring. Now learning is quite easier. As we do tests on iPads, there is no need in writing by hand and everything we type appears on the board. The smart classroom is only a small part of the smart environment. In the near future, we will eyewitness all smart technology communicate and interact with one another at the level of smart cities. Kazakhstan is a convenient location for the development of solar power. There are huge territories here where thousands of solar panels can be installed. Besides, we have unique technologies that may boost the efficiency of the world-famous brands of solar power by several times. Find out more in the upcoming report in Trends. The sun is the most sustainable source of energy on our planet. The amount of solar energy that the planet receives during the day exceeds the most consumption of electricity during the whole year, and this means millions of kilowatts per hour. Kazakhstan is ideally located for the development of solar energy. In the Jambil region, for several years, the first industrial solar power station Otar has been operating. The first phase of the project cost $1.3 million in private investments to build it. Its capacity is 7 megawatts, but this year it is planned to launch the second phase of power station Borne Solar 1 with a capacity of 50 megawatts. There will be about 192,000 solar panels, which will supply energy to 30,000 households. Kazakhstani scientists not only borrow ideas from their foreign colleagues, they also modernize the famous technologies. For example, a startup from the scientific techno park at the Kazakh National University named after Al Farabi has developed special trackers for solar panels. From dawn to dusk it rotates face to the sun, which makes solar panels work more efficiently than those working without the trackers. Well, that's not all Kazakhstani scientists achieved in this field. Researchers at Technopark Alatau have invented devices that they call smart flowers. The invention is a smart cultivating system. Its main element is solar panels. Thanks to the panels and in-built gadgets, the smart flowers analyze the soil composition, define the air humidity and receive data about the weather forecast from satellites. One can enter the server from anywhere in the world using their email box. You can receive the information about the humidity level, the sun direction and so on. All the data will be sent to your email box. By 2020, it is planned to increase the number of renewable sources of energy by 3%, from which 713 megawatts will be produced by 28 solar power stations. Well, that's all for now. I'm Serik Akishev, and you've been watching the world of startups. See you next week on Kazakh TV.